My name is Kirk Vanderdusen. I'm a manager here at one of the Wholesome Dairies. My family's actually been involved in the dairy business in some aspect for over eight generations, starting back from Holland. As you can see by my model here, we are definitely not the local um, small mom and pop dairy with a red barn and cows out in the pasture. On a scale this size, it, it really has turned into a manufacturing and a, a, almost a supply chain process. What you see here is our rotary parlor. Um, on this facility here, we have uh, 80 stalls, so at one time we can milk 80 cows. Um, a trip around the rotary takes about eight minutes per animal, and so there's a lot of things going on, as you can see, while these animals are getting milked. Um, there's about two minutes of prep time, so we're removing debris from the animal's udders, getting things prepped and ready for machine attachment to actually start harvesting that milk. Once the machine is attached, the cow is actually only being milked for approximately four minutes, four and a half minutes. Um, during that time, there's a series of automation that's happening with vacuum that's stimulating and uh, simulating uh, milk suckling like from a calf. When she goes back out to her pen, we've just dropped um, a whole pile of new feed for her that we've mixed out in our, uh, our, our commodity barns. That's a, a very um, high energy, well-balanced ration that gives the animal exactly what she needs for the highest milk production possible. Our facility is set up with a, a methane digester, a plug flow methane digester, which helps us um, recycle, reduce, reuse waste product that the animal is not using from her feed consumption. So she's taking in close to 100 pounds of feed every day. She uses what she needs for energy needs and also for milk production, but whatever she doesn't use, she expels out the other end, and I need to do something with that. So we manage that manure, and that's another driving system on my dairy. My methane digester handles a lot of that material and turns it into things that I can use, that my farmers can use, and that the cow can reuse in the end. Methane gas is the exact same thing as natural gas, and I'll spark that methane to, uh, to turn an engine. These large engines, in turn, run a generator, which creates electricity. So I have converted that methane gas into electricity. And on this facility here at Wholesome Elm Dairy, we have approximately 4,300 animals on site. These cows are producing enough electricity to provide um, the electrical needs for close to 700 homes in the area. So that helps a lot with the sustainability of things, too. It helps keep me um, sustainable because I'm not wasting anything and I'm gaining some revenues from uh, some of that waste product. Um, local farmers are able to benefit from a cheaper fertilizer and also uh, application times. I can really give them what they need at times when they need it. And uh, it keeps them um, you know, profitable because now they can in turn sell me a, a crop at a, uh, at a, a, a price they probably weren't able to convert themselves internally for their own cows, I can pay them a premium for that crop and keep them in business just cash cropping. We have a very small uh, uh, possibility of any sort of uh, well contaminations because both our facilities are actually sitting on over 70 to 80 feet of clay and there's been enough research and studies done that um, the, uh, the possibilities of any groundwater contamination is very minimal. I love for people that are anti-big dairies and mega farms, as they term it, to come and take a tour with us. And that's why we open up our dairies to allow people to come in and tour our facility. Last year we did um, the County County Sunday on the farm and we had almost 5,000 people that came through this facility. And we gave them a, a different picture than they were expecting of what we do here and how we affect the environment, our community, and our employees. And uh, I love being able to tell that story to those people and change their minds.